Hey everyone, welcome to this new kind of a video where I'm going to build and test new things. We're going to inaugurate by building this. And of course you already know what it is, it's in the title of the video, but this is a 3D printer. Um, this is the Anycubi Castle I've just received today. I took the Linear Plus version. Uh, this one is the bigger one and uh, with the, the heat bed. Uh, it's uh, pretty cheap for 3D printer, around 350 Canadian dollars, tax and shipping included. Uh, of course, it's cheap uh, because you have to build it uh, from A to Z. Uh, I bought it on AliExpress and received it after around two weeks, which is pretty fast. Um, the manual is uh, pretty detailed with a lot of ticks and uh, it seemed pretty long to assemble so from what I heard uh, it takes around half a day uh, and then you have to calibrate it so I'm not going to uh, do a time lapse of the building because well a lot of people already uh, did it uh, on YouTube uh, but what I'm going to do is uh, stop if I uh, encounter uh, any problem um, so that's it, so uh, let's do a jump cut and hopefully we will meet uh, in a half day or more. Also, uh, after that I will uh, focus on the calibration, uh, since I will use a, three, a third sorry, a third party tool with the do-it-yourself probe, uh, which hopefully will save me a lot of time uh, not doing manual jump cut. And I've just started another one, finished the very first step by assembling the first part here, uh, which consists to put some nuts and bolts uh, on the three corner for support as indicated here. And I have issue with one of the bolts uh, here, this one. Uh, the thread is not correct, so I cannot uh, put the screw, uh, but uh, fortunately I have uh, M4 uh, bolt uh, on spare, so yeah, um, if you have M4 and M3 uh, bolts uh, as a spare, it could uh, save the day. A few hours later, so far so good. Okay. So everything is done, it uh, powers up and we're ready to test it, but it's uh, kinda light so I will call it a day and test it tomorrow. So apparently uh, the glass surface is not sticky enough uh, letting the object moving while being printed. Uh, even if the uh, surface is uh, pretty smooth and pretty cool, uh, it's useless if it's spinning like that. So maybe it's because I did not install the headbed yet, but uh, yeah, I have to find a way uh, to fix that. Much better, eh? Well, this is because I am an idiot and the black surface uh, with the logo of uh, Anycubic is supposed to be a sticker and you put that on your glass and you get uh, a rough surface where your model is sticky enough. Uh, I will remove the brim which helps the platform adhesion and well for the first print with the default uh, parameter uh, from Cura it's pretty good, the dimensions are okay and uh, well you can see uh, the seams and it's not perfectly uh, spherical. I will try to show the fail one as a comparison. Uh, there you go. And yeah, they are pretty, pretty close. So uh, 
I will just try to uh, send them, well at least send the successful one, to see if I can uh, remove the sim as something more uh, spherical. Um, but uh, except that, oops, except that I'm uh, pretty happy for the result and uh, I will try to have something uh, uh, even nicer. Okay, so I have a few passes of uh, 80 grits and pepper. I have something uh, really, really smooth and uh, even better uh, than the original prints. I have mostly get rid of all the seam. I have a really smooth surface. Uh, I didn't uh, correct. Uh, it's not really um, a pure spare uh, or anything, but uh, I'm pretty sure I can even go closer uh, with the thinner uh, sandpaper and all the uh, imperfection will be uh, invisible after some coating or paint. So I'm using the solution from easybait.ca uh, it consists of uh, custom firmware and uh, software uh, you will first have to print uh, the support for the prop which is a micro switch and uh, some cable to uh, link to the motherboard of the uh, Ecubic and then you upload the custom firmware and just follow the instruction uh, on the screen.
Of course, now I have tons of ideas for this thing. So thanks for watching and see you soon.